Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair her. Nothing like a bit of hard work. <laughs> Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh yes, she mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? That's not very hospitable. Oh goody! Someone to play with! Lumos! What? What fun this will be! For me, at least. Rebellion! That's new. Onwards, I suppose. What in the... Who's there? <laughs> 
Lumos. Bats. Lovely. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa. Seems as if I should hang something there. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. How enlightening! Lumos. Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the others. You've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides hear it to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Ah, Lumos is a scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Wingardium Leviosa, Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa.
Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. All books and no pay make one quite dull in you. Lumos. Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Lumos. Lumos.
I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Incendio. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Let me open. Lumos. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> Revelio. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Lumos. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? Guardian Leviosa. It should. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm Lumos. arranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable. What's the story?
Lumos. Leviosa. Inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get to shop. I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! That's just cat cat! But cat I mean. You can't! Protego! Curse it. There it is. 
also. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract? I am a poltergeist of my word. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny? Please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Rebellion. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop? Well, yes. She said she did, but I think you might have missed a bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, 
Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! Stop her! I should have known better that it was a business with a wild student. I've got to get up! What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Imperial! Should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Ah, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest.
I choose Vestas and Venom. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. 